In agriculture, fruits and vegetable production, also known as horticulture, is an important part of the economic life in the common market for Eastern and Southern Africa, Comesa region, providing employment and income lifeliness to millions of families, communities and businesses. With over 60% of the population depending on the agricultural sector for their livelihoods and employment, the sector's contribution to employment ranges from a low of 5% of the economically active in Libya to a high of over 90% in Rwanda. Within this, the horticultural sector stands out as it is considered to be a low-volume, high-value product as opposed to high-volume, low-value agricultural commodities like maize. Exports of horticultural products within the Comesa rose by 13% from 2012 to 2014, while imports rose by 68% from 2010 to 2014. The Comesa region therefore recognizes horticulture as having great potential for trade if fully exploited. With this in mind, Comesa has put in place policies, systems, regulations and procedures to create a conducive and transparent environment for conducting regional and international agricultural trade with forward and backward linkages from the farmer to the market. Main markets include the Comesa region itself, the European Union and Asia. However, a key concern in horticultural production, specifically for fruits and vegetables production, is the notorious fruit fly pests which causes damage to crops. The fruit fly also presents challenges for market access to regional and international markets alike. For instance, it is estimated that of the 1.9 million tons of mangoes produced annually in Africa, 30 to 35 percent, up to 760,000 tons, are destroyed by fruit flies. Additionally, quarantine restrictions imposed on affected imports of fruits and vegetables result in significant costs to the exporter. But what is a fruit fly? A fruit fly is basically, as the name suggests, a fly. And uh, what it does is that its female lays some eggs in a fruit and the eggs become larvae. So when you are cutting your mangoes to eat, you find some maggots inside. So that larval stage is really the most destructive. Zimbabwe, a growing producer and exporter of fresh fruits and vegetables in the Comesa region, produces a wide range of fruits that include apples, avocado, citrus, banana, coffee, guava, mangoes, peaches, as well as vegetables such as cucurbits, bell peppers, eggplants and tomatoes. In 2015, Zimbabwe's horticulture exports amounted to $72.1 million, with its main buyers being the European Union, taking up a combined bulk of $57.5 million worth of produce, with the Netherlands at $32.6 million, the United Kingdom at $13.5 million, Germany at $5.3 million, France at $3.2 million and Poland at $2.9 million, according to trade promotion agency Zimtrade. Citrus was Zimbabwe's leading export of horticultural product, making up 32% of total volumes, followed by flowers at 25%, peas at 19%, dried leguminous vegetables at 11%, berries at 7%, while an assortment of other produce made up the remaining 6%. While the statistics reflect a significant increase from $49 million in 2014, the 1999-2000 peak years were around $143 million, giving a hint of the potential to improve current production and exports. Efforts are therefore being made by government with the private sector to improve production and exports of fruits and vegetables as reflected in the country's strategy. We are quite happy and appreciative of the assistance and the timely disbursement of the funds which have come in, which has tied in with our ZIM assets as well as the value addition and beneficiation whereby we are looking at how best we can increase our presence on the international team by getting more exposed to the um, to the international markets specifically the European Union where we are exporting most of our, our products. 
The Fruit Fly Surveillance Program in Zimbabwe began in 2010 with funds from the government as well as individual commercial farmers who set up a fruit fly trapping network for early warning against fruit fly with particular focus on B. dosalis. In 2012, a full-fledged fruit fly surveillance program was put in place with the assistance of a project grant from the Commercial Adjustment Facility, CAF, through the Regional Integration Support Mechanism, RISM, with funding from the European Union. I'm sure we should be winning the battle. Uh, the reason I'm saying that is that if we move in methodically and uh, strategically like what we are doing now, uh, we should be able at least to make sure that uh, the zones where the production takes place, uh, they are kept clean as much as possible. And already uh, for those uh, commercial exporters like uh, the stone fruit expo exporters, that is already being done. I don't think we have uh, any other choice but uh, to make sure that is done. would also uh, like to see our local products on the market being of good quality as well. Uh, anywhere in the world, whether it's here in Zimbabwe or out there, nobody wants to buy a poor, poor quality product. The project has been managed and supported by the government of Zimbabwe through provision of infrastructure and human resources. This was meant to contribute to improving the dwindling exports to the regional and international markets. Four major commercial farms such as Claremont Orchard in Nyanga District, Churchill Rolex Farm in Marondera, Nottingham Estates and Bishopstone Estate, both in Baitbridge Town, produce a variety of fruits that include citrus, banana, apples and stone fruits mainly for export. Claremont Orchards, located in Juliasdale, Nyanga District, about 250 kilometers from Harare, produce mainly stone fruits such as peaches, plums, and nectarines, apples, pears, and passion fruit. The farm has a production system of commercial temperature fruits for local and export markets. When we are exporting to the EU, we have to meet their export standards. Firstly, we have to make sure we meet the sugar contents, which is above 10%, and we have done that for all the time we have been exporting. Second point, we have to meet the ripeness of the fruit, the cages. We have the air fright and the sea fright. So those cages for those both um, for both the transport should be met. For example, the um, air fright, the fruit should be a little bit riper. So we should be above, should be about four percent, four kgs. Then the sea fruit, the fruit should be harder. So it should be around two kgs. So we have been meeting these standards for some time for all our exports. And lastly, we have to make sure we meet the fruit fry control. So through our dedicated team, we have been meeting this control, and we have been achieving our ex exports without any problem. The funds from Comesa have helped through the provision of Kempak bucket traps, baited with various lures to monitor the fruit fly pests and to serve as an early warning against invasion by fruit fly infestations. Nottingham Estate and Bishopstone Estate are two major commercial citrus estates located in Bedbridge Town in Matabeleland South Province, 580 kilometers from Harare which have been in the forefront of eradicating the fruit fly crisis in this part of the country. The fruits produced on these estates are mainly for exports to the European Union, EU, and the United Arab Emirates, UAE. At Bishopstone Estate, the pest and disease monitoring programs are usually conducted during the pre- and post-harvest production of citrus on over 800 hectares of land. These include the field inspections, trapping and strict spraying regime with safe biopesticides such as the GF120 as well as biosecurity measures that ensure that only fruit grown on the farm is consumed on it. Apart from using the biosecurity measures, a pit of over 2 meters deep has been dug up to burn the west fruit in order to avoid reinfections into the estate. On the other hand, the farm is securely fenced with only one entry and exit point, 
which allows for monitoring of any fruit that could be brought onto the farm. We've been doing sanitation and then all the fruits which were uh, on the ground, uh, we crush them. We pick them, then we crush them in a yama mill. The stank fruits which you can have to see in the trees, we also pick them again and then uh, we crush them. If there are off-season fruits which are also in the trees, we also go and, and, and pick them and then also we, we crush them. By so doing, we'll be, we'll be avoiding the multiplication of, of fruit flies. At Nottingham Estate, which comprise over 600 hectares of citrus, extensive fruit fly management strategies are being implemented to ensure the production and marketing of fruit fly free fruits to their markets within the country and internationally. Every 50 meters along our fence line around the whole perimeter, we've got the, the match blocks. Uh, and then we've got certain areas where we feel the bacteria invaders is um, uh, attracted to. So in, uh, along the river, uh, in the fig trees and certain other plants, and then in, at, at some of the houses, at the houses. In addition to the monitoring of fruit flies, the farm has a computerized grading system in its pack house that is able to ensure only high quality fruits are packaged and sold. At this farm, the waste fruit disposal mechanism is a cut above the rest as they have integrated the fruit production system with conservation of wildlife that surrounds their farm. A disposal site is located about six kilometers off the farm's fence where west fruit is dumped in the midst of the wildlife's habitat. These fruits have become supplement feed for different wildlife that include over 400 elephants, a large number of elands, zebras, wild pigs, kudus and baboons. We feed it to the, the wildlife. Um, so nothing's within here so, uh, close by. So if there's any fruit fly or false colony moth eggs, they can't fly back here and they get eaten and it's eaten within overnight. Churchill Rolex farm in Marondera, 80 kilometers out of Harare, is on a 990 hectare farm that produces tobacco, peas, potatoes, raspberry, blueberries as well as stone fruits. The berries and stone fruits produced here are sold in the EU, Middle East and other countries on the African continent. We export to Europe, to the UK, to Middle East, to Australia and uh, surrounding uh, sub-Saharan countries. Nimbia Fresh Exports is a holder of uh, Global Gap, uh, Tesco Nature, ETI, which is an ethical uh, trading initiative, uh, BRC, uh, field to fork. All these uh, quality management systems ensure that we deliver a crop that is food safe for our consumers to eat, that is produced in a responsible way, ethically as well. Just like other farms, the fruit fly management practices are at both pre- and post-harvest stages. We've got the fertilizer application regimes. We've got the pest control and disease regimes, uh, which include the baiting uh, and the chemical sprays. And then we also use integrated pest management to ensure that we reduce our thresholds and they're within the acceptable ranges. The farm is routinely monitored for fruit fly infestations using traps funded by Comesa through RISM. This approach employs integrated pest management strategies to control fruit flies such as mat blocks, M3 bait stations, GF120 and Himluwa sprays, orchard sanitation and early fruit ripening. We are actually a fruit fly, declared fruit fly free zone. We achieve this by ensuring that all our control measures are within place. There are basic measures on the farm where people are allowed to eat at designation areas such as the risking station at tea time. Also, we, are no, we do not allow people to come with their fruits onto the farm. In the village where people live, we also cut down all the trees so that the only fruit tree which is on the farm is the peach tree only. Chipingi Banana Company, a subsidiary of Mantanuska Private Limited, has a commercial fruit production system of tropical fruits in Manikaland province, solely producing bananas for export to the South African and European market. The farm, in addition to fruit fly monitoring, uses Kempak bucket traps. 
baited with a variety of lures. The farm does not use chemical sprays, but covers the fruits with a thick colored plastic bag to prevent fruit flies from laying their eggs on them while still in the field. They also harvest bananas, while as they are still green and unattractive to fruit flies for egg laying. At the pack shed, workers dispose the west bananas by chopping and feeding them to pigs. Biosecurity measures on the farm also ensure that no fruit fly is brought onto the premise. Uh, they are fumigated, of which they are protecting the bunches uh, from any fruit fly issues and other, any other damage which damage the bananas. And the operation is clean. All those uh, disposal of waste bananas, we bury them. And we dug a pit and bury them, of which there's no any attractive food, food flies around. Comesa, through the government of Zimbabwe, is not only implementing the programs with commercial farmers, but is also working with the subsistence farmers in rural part of the country to help them provide the local market with quality fruits and vegetables. For example, at the homestead of Matonga in Morelwa, Mashonaland East Province, and at the Chimtsotsos in Kwayeza Village, Chimpinga District in Manikaland Province, these two families, with the assistance of community around them, run various small-scale agriculture activities that include piggery, pottery and horticultural production. At the Matonga's homestead, the horticultural venture comprises of established orchards consisting of about 700 trees that produce citrus, mangoes, guavas, peaches, loquats and bananas. Within the same orchards, they intercrop their land with vegetables like pumpkins, cowpea and sugar beans. Before the people were invited, when they, they saw these blocks being put all over around our area, they thought maybe it was uh, witchcraft and uh, some began to pull them out and throw them away until they were um, given an awareness that no, this is fruit fly. And uh, after that awareness, everybody is now uh, has embraced it. <laughs> I have observed that uh, uh, there is need for more management of the fruit fly. Uh, like uh, when, the, the, when, when the, the fruit trees are f uh, flowering, uh, there is need to spray uh, the, 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 the flowers. When the fruit fly pest problems was identified in November 2012, these farmers approached the National Plant Protection Organization, NPPO, for assistance in fighting the fruit flies. Having uh, come to visit and to offer advisory services on fruit flies, uh, we also realized that uh, this farm had potential as they grow in a, a number of fruits, which include citrus, mango, guava, and uh, also fruits and vegetables like the keke bitter family, uh, they also grow them, which are also hosts of fruit flies. Surrounding this farm, we have potential hosts of fruit flies, uh, which uh, still need to be assessed whether they like the, the, the distribution of the fruit flies in the host plants. At these homesteads, the management options used range from mass trapping, chemical spraying, orchard sanitation as well as conservation of natural enemies with the use of an augmentorium. The idea be behind the use of the augmentorium is to conserve natural enemies. Uh, uh, both the fruit fly and the natural enemies will in be in inside the fruit. But what happens is that the fruit rots and allows the natural enemies to fly out. On this yellow panel we have smaller holes that will not allow the fruit fly, which is larger than the natural enemies to escape. That way we'll be able to conserve the, uh, the natural enemies and they will be able to multiply and continuously reduce fruit flies in our orchards. As a way of enforcing the laws, the government has established a plant quarantine station in Mazowe, 35 kilometers from the capital, Harare. The enforcement of legislature 
ensures that pests and disease of quarantine importance do not go beyond the set economic thresholds. They also prevent export or importation of plant material that do not meet sanitary or phytosanitary SPS standards to the various destination markets as well as Zimbabwe. They are responsible for issuing uh, phytosanitary certificates um, for export. Uh, usually we are, uh, we are mainly guided by uh, the import requirements from the importing country. So uh, whenever we do the exports, we are supposed to meet the requirements of the receiving country. Uh, depending on the country, some other countries, they don't have uh, import permits. For example, those are in the European Union. Uh, so we, are, we get the import conditions in the EU directive. But for all other countries, they issue plant import permits and they give us the conditions. The plant quarantine station also has a laboratory, which is used to research on possible outbreaks of any fruit fly and comes up with recommendations on how to eradicate or control the paste. In these incubators, we put these lunch, small lunch tins. Then after the lunch tins, we put the, the samples in, in, in kitchen baskets so that they can develop. After that, depending on the temperatures, they normally take about 15 to 25 days from, from egg to adult. So after, after the adult images, that's when we are going to realize and identify which species of the pest is it exactly. Because on the egg, at the egg, on the egg stage, we can't really tell which species is, is it. When uh, the uh, fruit fly counts have been made and registered into the record sheets, uh, we need to identify each and every fruit fly that has been caught from the field. So uh, each specimen, we view it under a microscope. As a way of ensuring strict adherence to the SPS requirements set by the international markets, the Ministry of Agriculture under the Plant and Quarantine Unit has an established facility at the Harare International Airport to ensure full adherence by those involved in the export of agricultural commodities. At this facility, a variety of fresh commodities that include animal products as well as plant crops like flowers, vegetables and fruits are stored in preparation for freight by air or by road. This is the last check we do on our fresh produce before we export it to the EU. What happens is we check the farms. That's where all the work is being done. So if we check the farms and we ensure, we work with the farmers to ensure that whatever they are producing, is, it's pest and disease free. So we make sure that we, we check that there are no diseased fruits. We make sure that we inspect the, the whole cover the, the cover we inspect it uh, in, like you say east, west, north and south. So it means you check the fruits which are on, uh, on the eastern side, check the fruits which are on the western side, southern side and then northern side. The intervention of the Commerce Adjustment Facility CAF through the Regional Integration Support Mechanism, RISM, in a joint effort with the government of Zimbabwe, has been deemed to be a success as most of these farms have recorded a huge progress in the fight against fruit fly, with an increase of their crop yields and quality, import bans being lifted, and a focused increase in export income. There is some success now coming in from the fruit fly. You have been out there and you, see, you saw what we are doing, the, the impact. Uh, we hope and believe that, they, that will, there will be an increase of exports due to the fact that now we have party products that can be exported to Europe. It is hoped that the program for fighting fruit fly shall be extended to other parts of the country and the Comesa region. In order to achieve a 100% management of the fruit fly problems, this should contribute to improved trade of fruits and vegetables within the region and with other countries in the world.